in today's video we are gonna unbox and take a first look at this guy. This is the Ophia P2 tri-screen notebook expansion screen. I've been wanting to get my hands on a triple mobile monitor setup for many years now. All the time since I first got to see the Slide and Joy Kickstarter campaign that then showed up to be a pretty big scam in the end and still hasn't been delivered to backers. So when Ophia reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check out their new triple monitor setup that will go live on Indiegogo in a few days, I was really excited to try the product out. It just arrived to me from Hong Kong yesterday, so I'm super excited to unbox this thing and see what is in the package and do a first look and feel of this product. I'm W2Best and I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials and if you like this kind of content it would be awesome if you want to subscribe to the channel that gives me a ton of motivation to bring out new tech videos moving forward. If you want to communicate with me you can do so either in the comments below or on Instagram where I'm also at W2Best. I will put a link to where you can get the Ophia triple monitor down in the description below. All right, let's unbox this thing and see what we have in the first package here. This is what arrived to me from Hong Kong. And when we get inside that first box, we get to this main box. So this is the actual box that the product will get delivered in. So as you can see here, it says the Ophia P2 tri-screen notebook expansion screen. Up top here, it only says Ophia tri-screen on the side and notebook expansion screen on the other side. On the back side, we got some uh, product information here. It's about the modes that you can use this product in. You have the presentation mode. You have the portrait mode and then I guess you have the main mode where you have one screen on each side of the laptop screen. We've got some explanation of what the product does and then we've got some product parameters here. So here it says that it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 75% color gamut. It doesn't specify what color gamut though, so we'll have to see what we think about the colors of the display later on. Panel type IPS wide viewing angle, a refresh rate of 60 Hertz that it's 11.6 inches each, a contrast of 1000 to 10, average brightness of 220 nits, type C input and type C output and then the total interface is two type C ports, one HDMI and one USB. It contains the main product, a USB-A to USB-C cable, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and an HDMI cable. And also up here it says that it's compatible with 13 inches to 17.3 inches. So it should work with a bunch of different laptops. Let's get into the box and see what we find here. We come into a very premium feeling first impression here with this little carrying case that says Ophia on top. Wow, this has got some good feelings to it. That's quite impressive. Inside the carrying case, we've got a user guide. Then we come straight into the main product here. And on the sides we've got a few small boxes which I assume will be holding the cables for the product. So there we have our USB-C to USB-C cable. Our HDMI cable. In the other little box here we have another USB C to USB-C cable and then another HDMI to HDMI cable. Taking the main unit out here the first thing to feel is the weight of it. 
and it is like a normal 14 inch laptop I would say a bit more than a kilogram and there we have a first look at the 11 inch screen the other screen I assume then we have to fold out to find yeah so there you can see that the first screen stays in place there on the side and then the other screen is folding up right here as well so there we have the second screen with a second screen protector on it on each side here you have two USB-C ports, one HDMI, and one USB-A port. As you can see, this is the other side, and it's got the same port setup. We have a first look of the product. Let's give it a first try. Let's put up my Lenovo Yoga Slim 7, put this guy on, and see how it works. All right, to put this thing on, we just have to expand it here, and then wrap it onto the screen of the laptop and that was the first time I did it but it was actually a really smooth process and uh, as you can see here it has made my Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 into a triple screen setup from checking the cables out a bit more one is a bit longer than the other one so this is something that is used to make sure that there's not too much excessive cabling going on which is quite a nice idea, I think. The thing here is that I only have monitor out in one of my USB ports. So I will need to use uh, one USB-C port for monitor. And as you can see, it starts up right there. Uh, then I'm gonna have to use an HDMI for the other monitor to make that one run. So let's bring out one of the HDMI cables. If it's not possible to daisy chain from one monitor to the other, because it said it had USB-C out, this I will have to check out a bit uh, later on. But now let's first try out the actual monitor setup and see how to get it to work. Both the HDMI cables were of the shorter version. So I'm going to have to switch it up here a bit. I'm going to run the other side with the longer USB-C cable and this guy I'm gonna run with the HDMI cable. Oh, a positive point here is that the USB-C cable seem to be the perfect length so it really doesn't add that much extra cable mess to the setup here. I wonder here Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when running the second monitor here, we need some power to go into this monitor. So this is why you could use a USB-A cable, I presume, to give some power into the monitor. In this case, though, we're going to use the other USB-C port to run this monitor with power. And there you can see it starting up and running a triple screen setup on my table, just like that. I really don't have space for a real external monitor, so I feel like this is actually a pretty viable solution for using at home. Now I need to set up the settings here to make sure that each is an individual uh, desktop. So let's just check out the display settings and see how the monitors are recognized as well. All right, I just had to switch to extend and immediately I get two individual desktops, as you can see there. They are relatively small, these screens, but uh, I look forward to using them a bit and see how I feel about them from getting some more use out of them. You can angle them in a bit like that to get a bit of a more immersive experience. And I think this is the way I will probably use it. Adding on to that my Bluetooth mouse, and then I will use this keyboard and then the three screens, do some work and see what I feel about it.
By setting the screens on the side up to run at 150% instead of 100 in the display settings, I actually get a pretty working Windows experience. And as you can see here, like I would have my main window here and I could have like a presentation there if I'm for example in a video call and doing a presentation. And then I can have my Trello board or my uh, Slack or my email here on the left hand side. It's a really well working setup. And the only thing I need to figure out is a good way to power the monitor as well as getting monitor signal into it since I can only use one USB-C port for monitor out. So I guess one of the main things with a product like this is how mobile it actually is. And if I close my laptop up, let's see what happens here. Okay, it works fine for me to close the laptop up. I unplug this cable going to the second monitor, that is. And I unplug these other cables here. And then we see, like, I fold this guy in. And then I fold this guy in. But in this case here, I have nothing that actually protects the monitor. But as you can see here, this is the total package of the Yoga together with the Ophia tri-screen. So it's making it pretty thick or you just take this off and bring it separately. And then it's this kind of package that you are looking at bringing along. Then I guess I understand more how you're supposed to put this guy on. So if you put your laptop in closed mode like this, bringing out my 15 inch laptop. Oh, okay, so in this case I gotta work up here I guess. To make it attach on the right points. Yeah, that's how it works. So you gotta really like place this at the right position. And then you can fold these guys out. And you open the laptop. And you can adjust these guys in while you are opening it to get it at the proper angle where you want it at. That is it for my unboxing and first look of the Ophia triple monitor setup. As you can see here, the way I've been using it mostly so far is actually just with one of the monitors active because that gives so much less cables than when you want to use both of them at the same time. But I really like the fact that it attaches to the screen so that you don't have to have enough table space for an extra screen like the monitor I have used previously to this one. However, it's definitely putting some challenge to the hinge here uh, of my Dell Inspiron 15 7000. I will be back with a review of this product once I've got some more use out of it. Right now I will go to a cafe and see if it's actually possible to bring this along as a mobile setup and use it on your lap while working in a cafe. I'm W2Best, I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.